so the first so the first and foremost thing we should do is we should do self analysis we should know what is our strengths we should know what is our weaknesses opportunities and our threats unless and until knowing this we cannot judge anyone okay so self awareness is one of the important attribute that one should know unless and until you are self aware you cannot live in the society okay by self awareness we can able to understand our strengths where i am good at where i am weak uh, what is my weaknesses what is my opportunities and what is my threats by knowing this we can able to handle any situation okay so simply for example uh, uh, I'm, i'm a teacher okay uh, i don't know this subject okay uh, i i have i haven't uh, i haven't faked my thing i have said to you okay uh, i i know this is my weakness i cannot uh, handle this subject so but i know my my strength i know my strength that i can able to handle this subject with my teaching background i can able to handle it even though my weakness is a uh, 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 lack of awareness on this subject but i know my strength so i got that positive development in my mind and uh, i know my opportunities i know my opportunities on how to handle this one uh, if i don't know uh, how uh, you know i will i will go to dsw to the office and i, I will meet the corresponding uh, faculty to know how to teach it or i will meet hod ma'am uh, i know what are the opportunities i have in order to develop my strengths in this subject and i will also know my threats you know what is my greatest threat if i am not teaching properly you will get failed if you fail definitely you will you will blame me only the wamsis are not teaching anything uh, that's why we fail that's why in the first itself i said that uh, uh, how this subject is uh, uh, handling this is not handling by me so we i have said my threats i know my threats i need to be very cautious with this subject i know my opportunities i know my weakness and i know my strengths also unless and until we are knowing our these things we cannot able to do anything we should do our self analysis we should know our self awareness on our uh, stand our st- uh, our part- our situation right now in that circumstances so self awareness gives very important significance in handling any situation irrespective of anything it can be academic it can be a parental even your girlfriend issues or anything even your interpersonal relations everything before we are going to any situation we must know our self awareness okay then we won't feel regret if we know, if i know already my weaknesses i won't feel sad if i know my threats i i i won't i i will overcome my threats so yes you know students very simple all this life skills everything is for keeping us motivated as an individual person we should have the courage to live in a society without any fear we are a social animals actually no animal is as social as humans you know we are very tightly bonded with that social connectivity you just imagine if you are if you are outcasted from any society we will feel loneliness we will feel we will feel sad we cannot stay in a room without anything okay like even without mobile we we will automatically we will get the depression feelings humans are more, uh, humans are grown evolved to socialize in order to become ourselves socialized first socializing is very toughest task for students keep in mind not everyone is good at socializing not everyone is good at you know uh, mingling with the public mingling with the people right if you see if i'm not socialized if i'm an introvert and if i'm very you know arrogant then i cannot become a teacher i need to touch each and every one of your hearts in the classroom irrespective of whom whom i ever you are sometimes you will be rude on me sometimes you will be you know angry on me sometimes you will be happy with me anyway my ultimate goal is to i need to reach every one of you ultimately you should feel positive about my presence right so i need to develop my self awareness in front of you i need to get i need to be get socialized without socialization we cannot live in this world students keep in mind so in order to get ourselves socialized we must have the self awareness so uh, so that is the significance of this self awareness so let us see how we can able to develop the self awareness okay so let us see so introduction so self awareness means self awareness is the ability to focus on ourselves on our actions our thoughts our emotions 
what our emotions are doing and not aligning with our internal standards okay so uh, that means our uh, knowing our own uh, personality our act, our opinions our feelings so first i should know wh how i'm approaching wh what is my opinion what is my emotions okay um, i might be too much emotional in one particular situation so how can i able to tackle that emotional situation like one pay, one student came and he's saying that uh, he or she has some very serious cancer and he will die within two days and he want i want to i want to pass him you know now he is handling me with my emotions actually because that is an emotional thing right uh, uh that is so how i will handle these things uh, okay with my emotions with my my purpose my needs sometimes i will have some needs right okay like my motto will be every one of you should get 100 out of 100 okay that is my uh, maybe my 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 greediness is too high my expectations are too high so i i should know my desires and my strengths also i should know my strengths and my weaknesses uh, if we are clear with these things, definitely we can live very happily in the society. If I'm clear with myself, if I'm aware of myself, aware, if I'm aware myself, then I can handle anything. Okay, that is the importance of self-awareness. Okay, so what is self-awareness and why it is important? So self-awareness is a, having a clear perspective on myself, on ourselves, on our personality, on our strengths, weakness, thoughts, beliefs, motivation, emotions. It allows us to understand how other people perceive us okay so, uh, say for example uh, i have a personality like uh, uh, i want i want everyone every people should e easily approach to me okay that is uh, that is my expectation so uh, in, in such a way i will behave i won't be so much rude okay a at the same time uh, I i'm not telling that i will punish you i will punish you but in a very positive way Okay, so I should have some uh, some predetermined certain sets of skills and expectations with uh, my own, you know, these things. Then only I can able to handle you. All the students, being a teacher, you know, you will think uh, uh, just a teacher means right. Uh, he will write something on a board and uh, we will learn. No, that that is that is just a small part of teaching. In teaching, we have many things. I need to handle your emotions, everything. So yes. So by knowing our self-awareness, we can able to handle the society. Like in case of me, I can handle all my students very effectively. And the self-awareness is important because when we have a better understanding on ourselves, we are able to experience ourselves as unique individual. Yeah. If I start appreciating myself, if I start appreciating all my weakness, my strengths, everything, first I will start, uh, you know, I will feel like I have a uniqueness. Definitely, every one of his, uh, one of us is unique. Don't feel like you know, like me. Everyone is like me only. Never, there is no one like you. Expect except you. Like the way you are seeing me, right? Uh, 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 the way how I'm teaching, uh, I'm not, I was handling the classes. That the way I'm with you. You can compare me with your all previous academicians, like your tenth inter uh, anything. Right? I have my own uniqueness. I can able to appreciate my uniqueness only when I understand myself i do swot analysis on myself okay so that is the importance of uh, self awareness then we are then empowered to make informed decisions upon knowing my threats and weaknesses i can take a very strategic decisions on how to overcome my weaknesses my threats and all right so it will help us to take informed decisions changes and build our own areas of strengths okay say for example uh, i'm weak in uh, um okay um uh, I'm weak in dancing, so I won't take any dancing courses, right? So rather than I will take teaching as my profession. So like that, uh, I can take a very uh, good decisions. Okay, I can able to identify the areas where I can shine. I can I can go to that areas, right? At last, uh, we need to let our our light shine. Okay, we should go to the area where they will appreciate us. So that that will that motivation will give to us. Most of the students don't do this thing. Okay, uh, you know. Because of lack of self-awareness, they will they will uh, they will come into a situation where they are unable to handle it because they haven't done their previous self self awareness uh, skills. That is the issue. Okay, say for example, if I'm not good at uh, teaching, why should I sh I should take a teaching profession? I may take on some other thing. The, for example, personally, I like handcrafts. Okay, like I can do very good mo paper models with uh, these things. I love architectural engineering a lot. Why can't I take my architectural engineering? Why I'm suffering by teaching to you? 
okay similarly you also you should go with your passion and desires that decision you can take only when you started having that sort your strengths and your things okay so yes that is the significance of self awareness then attributes of self awareness what uh, what attributes you know the meaning of attributes means what characteristic things that you should have in order to develop that self awareness so let us see whether you have this self awareness attributes or not okay we should have we should we should able to demonstrate a high level of awareness skills by showing independence in all the following components independency means we should be able to handle the following situations independently without relying on other for example can i able to identify my own strengths and weaknesses can i know what are my likes and dislikes can i know my intuition reflection on uh, sound choices like uh, how can I, uh, okay for example i got a opportunity like i got 1 lakh offer from one university and i got another uh, you know some 50000 but it's a research area can i able to Take a take a good decision. Research area will give me PhD with fifty thousand, and uh, academics will give me one lakh. Can I able to take this decision myself or not? Okay. If I'm able to take this decision myself, then I can say that I have self awareness. Then, are are you able to control your emotions? Uh, unfortunately, I got very saddest incident, and uh, I need to take a class. Can I able to control my emotions, and can I able to take my class effectively without? Uh, you know uh, influence under under my you know i don't want to cry in my classroom okay whether i can able to handle that or not uh, loga sir my class is up to 1 uh, 12:50 sir we can go by 1 o'clock to lunch okay oh. yes sir hmm. yeah uh, whether we, if we if you can able to control your emotions then you have your self you, you have self awareness then uh, have a realistic goals uh, and challenges in an attainable challenges this is one important thing okay having unrealistic goals will be really problematic students you know i cannot say that i will become a richard dawkins or i will become a global celebrity like a teacher if i'm feeling myself like i will become you know like carl sagan the the best teachers like richard feynman definitely i cannot become so i should have some realistic goals and realistic something which i can uh, easily do it like uh, i will become now i'm assistant professor i will become associate then after four five years i will go, i will become hod i need something which i can achieve easily okay that that realistic goal should be have okay and are we knowledgeable about the individual learning style uh, yeah each and every one of us learning style is different can, can you able can you able to appreciate your learning style or not can you able to identify your learning style or not okay uh, that you need to identify then are knowledgeable about their uh, are you knowledgeable about your disabilities and support needed to address yeah very 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 important listen see i should not be arrogant and rude say for example i don't know how to teach mathematics i don't know how to teach uh, standard deviation calculations to my students okay and then i should not feel regret okay uh, like uh, i should not feel regret like i cannot do it if i'm feeling regret no if any student asking once is tell me about statistical phenomena so i will angle, i will show that uh, you know uh, uh, you just study by yourself i will start shouting rather than so i know my disability that i cannot teach you statistics now i should be appreciate myself to get support i will go to any mathematic i will go to mathematics department and i will seek to any department faculty and i will ask ma'am or uh, sir can you please teach me statistics or can you please guide me on how i can able to teach this to my students i don't know this thing okay we should appreciate our disability i'm telling again students this is what many of us won't do it okay we should accept our disability and you we should improvise we should work on improvising our disability accepting our disability is a good attribute keep in mind if we are not accepting our disability you know then we will become arrogant and rude we should accept our weaknesses i'm telling again okay then use attributes of self awareness to advocate ourselves yeah you need not to you know uh, after i'm i'm taking this class now i should not feel like uh, uh, okay i know everything about uh, awareness and i will teach to everyone first of all i should teach myself okay uh, whether i have developed this self awareness things or not so first we should implement whatever we learn on ourselves so these things are the uh, one good uh, some good attributes of self awareness so uh, a brief summary of self awareness uh, they include identifying our own weakness strengths likes dislikes our uh, decision sound choice makes uh, choice making decisions controlling our emotions identifying uh, keeping our realistic goals okay attainable goals 
uh, learning, uh, we should identify our learning style, all these things. Okay. So this is the good attributes of self-aware. Then why self-awareness is essential? Why uh, is it essential? That it is essential because to develop a personal growth and development, if I'm self-aware, I, I never go to any, you know, dancing classes <laughs> because I don't know dancing. So uh, I will, I will stick to my teaching and I will go for teaching. Even the personally, I like Michael Jackson, but I cannot dance. So I won't go for dancing classes. Okay. So that will improve my development, my, my development, then emotional wellness. I can be positive. Uh, I, I need not to get regretted because of my weaknesses and threats. Okay. I will be heartfulness. I will be happy from the bottom of heart, either physically, socially, or psychologically. I can able to strengthen my interpersonal relationships with the people. Okay. If someone criticizing me, no, but still I will take it as a positive because why he's criticizing me because that is my weakness. Maybe I don't know something and he's criticizing me. Once he says, you don't know anything. I will take it as a positive thing. I will accept it because of my weakness. He is telling that uh, next time I won't do it simple. Okay. Uh, it will, it will increase the interpersonal uh, relations and ultimately it will lead to our success and productivity. If I'm get under, if I get influenced by these things, my weakness and, and threats, I never, uh, you know, succeed in my life or career. So for our career success and productivity, we should know our uh, self-awareness. We should uh, strengthen our interpersonal skill. It will, it will, uh, it will help us to strengthen our interpersonal relationships. It will have a heart wholeness, emotional well-being will be there and personal growth and development will be there to achieve everything that you should desire with positive mindset. So ultimately it will give me a positive mindset. Even if I identify someone is criticizing me, I will take that as a positive way. When I can take a positive, when I will develop my positive mindset, only when I was self-aware, only when I know my SWOT. So that is the significance of self-awareness. Okay, students. So uh, develop, how you will develop your self-awareness. So first of all, understand your thought patterns, how you are dealing any situation. Stop comparing with others. I'm telling again, you are unique. The way you are doing, no one can do it like you. Never, you know, I cannot compare myself with uh, uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk is very wealthy. I, why I'm not a old billionaire? If I'm, if I'm comparing with Elon Musk, no, I will be sad forever. So we should not compare with anyone. And we should recognize our strengths and our potentials. Very, very important. Okay. Uh, uh, this happened to me, my Carol, ma'am. Okay. In masters, I was very worried about this one. I don't know how to take a seminar students. Actually, there is a inter, uh, national seminar that we conducted. And she said that I will be the master of ceremony that I will stand in front of Mike and I need to take care of, you know, I should welcome guests. I should do that anchoring thing. And I was very afraid of that one. And I said, ma'am, I can't do it. Please don't give me. And I started, you know, she said, once you, you are the one who, who is going to handle it. I was very, very, I got angry actually on that ma'am. Um, the next, you know, within two days, I, I need to do it. And uh, the next day I went to the ma'am and I was, I, you know, uh, I was outbursted. I said, ma'am, why are you torturing me? Why you said? Uh, uh, she was very arrogant. She said, uh, uh, once you don't behave rudely, you, go, you are going to do it. And you know what happened? I, I never, I, I don't know that I can able to handle a, a seminar actually. Uh, that is one of my best uh, uh, output. I was surprised uh, upon completion of that uh, seminar. I was surprised that uh, I have this uh, ability. So I was really thanked uh, my uh, Dr. Carol ma'am. She, uh, she said that once you just identify your potential, never feel that you are, you are incapable of those things. Don't go there. Today I become professor actually, you know? Yeah, so we should know our, we should uh, appreciate our strengths and potential. Then uh, we should accept our limitations and our work. Never, uh, this is important, okay? We should know our limitation, okay? May, just because I handled that the seminar doesn't mean uh, I can give a UN speech, right? I cannot give in WH or UN speech. So I should know my limitation and I should keep on improvising my skill in order to uh, reach that goal. And also we should always have this, uh, uh, you know, self en en engagement. Okay. We should encourage ourselves. We should engage our mind in something constructive manner. Okay. Uh, today I cannot do it, but I will self-motivate tomorrow. I can do it. Okay. It should be in constructive manner and give time to help others. Yeah. See, listen, sometimes we should, we should uh, allow the others to, and uh, enter into our personal life. 
that might help us okay we, so we, we should allow someone to help us then only we can improve keep in mind not only helping someone we should allow someone to help us also then only we can able to grow if someone saying that they want to help me i should accept it okay maybe you know i should not be arrogant and rude why are you helping i know everything i cannot say it. so give time to help others okay and also you should uh, this thing uh, and last and final accept compliments with a smile okay uh, uh, when now who am say our complimenting now once sir you are uh, you used very very nicely then i should uh, i should i should accept it i should not say that you know sometimes we will do it are yes, sir i have nothing sir like that we should not do it we should feel uh, we should accept our compliments and uh, surround yourself with a genuine relations okay Uh, we should be surrounded with the good people okay uh, yeah these are the, how we can able to develop it. okay we we can develop our self awareness okay uh, yeah that's a student this is all about self awareness by this one see yeah over so sir, self awareness is all about so ah yes student yeah so what marks tomorrow we will conduct what marks in quiz sir quiz ah, i will release the quiz marks after my lunch okay definitely you thank you will you see so your marks so in the you. grade section yeah thank you sir yeah thank you very much uh, students thank, uh, yeah, thank, thank you sir thank you sir yes yes thank you sir yes students you can do yeah thank you very much thank you sir yes